Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, red algae bloom, southwest Florida coast. We are July 31st, 2018. Scripture references out of Hosea 4, verse 3, Therefore the land mourns, and all who dwell in it languish, and all the beasts of the field and the bursts of the heaven, and even the fish of the sea are taken away. Now, arguably, that's in reference to nation Israel, but it is worth noting that the fish of the sea are taken away. Second reference is out of Revelation 8, verses 8 and 9. The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. And a third of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and a third of the ships were destroyed. So what we're looking at here is a uh, map provided by winknews.com, and it's a red tide map, and I believe this was uh, effective July 27, so this is about four days old. But you get an idea of the area on the southwest Florida coast that is under the influence of this red algae bloom. So Brings us to today, to today uh, the worst red algae bloom in over 10 years has hit the southwest coast of Florida. Around 4,000 dead fish were noted in the Sanibel Island beach area. And so the place really stinks and lots of people are complaining about the smell of it. And, and you know, everybody says red algae bloom. Well, in this case, the algae is blue green. Who knows? It may have not bloomed yet and turned red, but in this case, it's blue green. And this is per the Environmental Protection Agency. But this can be misleading since they can be different colors. Well, there you go. There's some insight from the EPA. Algae blooms or cyanobacteria are caused by human waste from neighborhoods and fertilizers from local farms. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and other nutrients act as fertilizer for the algae. This particular bloom has lasted for more than 10 months. Uh, experts see no end in sight, so they're pretty concerned about it, and it's growing. 15 people have gone to local emergency rooms. Uh, medical symptoms can include coughing, itchy throat, watery eyes, difficulty breathing, rash, nausea, vomiting, and acute liver failure in severe cases. And uh, this story was pulled from the Weather Channel. So go to weather.com, link provided right here. Put the cursor there and lights up. You click on it and you can see the weather.com or Weather Channel reports. I mean, this is real news. <laughs> Mainstream media is all over it. Um, now, for the record, we are not in the tribulation. Nothing the size of a great fiery mountain has been, quote, thrown into the sea in recent years. I think that would have made the news. Um, this event is not a third of the sea. A third of the sea creatures have not died, only 4,000. And in this particular case, the Gulf has yet to turn blood red. Now, it's not to minimize the event. It's the southwest coast of Florida. It's a pretty big deal. But it's not the scope and scale described in Revelation 8. So, scripture from both the Old Testament and New Testament says bigger events are coming. So, yeah, it's a pretty good swath of the coast of Florida, but it's we're not we're not in um, we're not in the tribulation. So, uh, if you're interested, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Um, also, uh, scroll down here, different categories. Um, this one will be filed under blood red water aquatic death. Uh, at any rate, appreciate you guys watching and listening. Take care. Have a great day.